What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's Netflix original movie review of The Bubble. The newest film from director Judd Apatow. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome! Hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome! Hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch, including this one. So The Bubble is, of course, Judd Apatow's newest movie. It's about a film shoot during the pandemic where these famous actors come in to shoot this uh, new installment of a thing called Cliff Beast. And in the process of everything that happens, these actors start to experience all kinds of situational problems. And they start dealing with some like traumatic events. And it basically becomes this like situational comedy where everything that can go wrong does go wrong in the situation that they're presented. And on top of that, it's a movie called Cliff Beast, which is a typical, you know, what it would be like to shoot a big action film in the middle of England during a pandemic. It's that type of film. And so this movie is, of course, like I said, directed by Judd Apatow. So as you can be aware, he's an individual that can bring in a lot of famous talent. You know, this movie is about famous actors during a insane shoot of a pandemic movie. But the cast that is involved with this movie is also extremely famous. So you have like David Duchovny, you have Karen Gillan, you have people like Keegan-Michael Key and Maria Bacalova, and of course Pedro Pascal. And then you of course have the regulars that are the family of Judd Apatow, which include Leslie Mann and Ayers Apatow. And then there's also other people like Peter uh, Stefanovich and stuff like that. But it's a movie that... It really tries to be just an entertaining kind of goofy over the top silly movie and it shows like in the trailers for instance the first trailer that was ever put out was a teaser for cliff b6 and when we all saw this trailer we're like what the heck is this movie it, but the trailer was like really stupid it was it was fun to watch but you could tell it felt like a sci-fi asylum movie which is what they were going for but then you realize that this is actually a trailer for an actual movie that's being made by Judd Apatow called The Bubble. And I thought that was a really clever way of marketing this movie. So I was really excited, really intrigued. I know Judd Apatow hasn't made very good movies in the last few, probably 10 years now at this point. But this cast, this crew, this director, the idea of the, the pandemic in a bubble situation and how that well that and how well and not well that goes was something I was looking forward to, to be fairly honest. And so after seeing this movie, I can definitely understand and I can see the justifiable reason why the critics didn't like this movie. It's just not a very good movie, to be fairly honest. It's a movie with a lot of over-the-top stuff and just heightened actor problems and just it's so inside baseball sometimes that it can become confusing it's just it's a movie that tries hard to make you entertain and tries hard to fit in a world that was very locked down and trying to use over the top scenarios and stuff like that but it, it's a movie that just doesn't know what it wants to be a lot of times it wants to be a over the top silly goofball comedy but it also wants to be a darkly kind of satirical comedy and it just it's all over its place and tone I think some of the actors are, they're all having fun in this movie, but it goes to places that show the weaknesses of what Judd Apatow is as a director. He's a guy that just doesn't know when to cut, doesn't know when to edit. He kind of lets things roll too long. And this movie is just, it becomes a slog after a while. Yes, I did. I'll be, I'll be absolutely honest. I did laugh at some parts. I think some parts with, you know, Karen Gillan and Keegan-Michael Key are especially funny because Keegan-Michael Key thinks he's an action star. Uh, David Duchovny and some of the things where he's like, he wants to rewrite the script is also funny. But the stuff with the Iris Apatow, the stuff with Leslie Mann, the stuff with, you know, certain actors like Pedro Pascal and even Maria Bakalova are just not really that funny, to be fairly honest. They don't work. They just feel like they're just put in there to be a response to have, you know, comedic moments and like the heightened abilities of what they can do. And I just, I never really felt myself on board with this. This film i never felt like it was entertaining enough where it could be just like a brain dead comedy but i never felt like it was smart enough to be a smart type comedy it just it, it, it's a movie that just once again proves that netflix is just putting out whatever they can to put out and there's no like quality control and i just feel like this movie has so much potential and could be so much fun and on top of that we're kind of slowly coming out of the pandemic so that whole idea of what the pandemic was like for a movie like this it really is just kind of like a little dated to be fairly honest i know that's been said in other reviews but it does feel a little dated for what it's trying to do but it's not the worst thing i've ever seen from netflix it definitely tries to be something different it is a different feel for something like judd apatow but it's a movie that actually feels more like a digital snl short sketch where they could do multiple sketches more than it feels like a movie to be fairly honest 
So it really does fail to just be kind of an entertaining, enjoyable romp, and it just becomes more of an exercise in what kind of over-the-top zaniness are they going to do now, and what kind of over-the-top craziness are they going to do next. And, you know, it definitely has moments, but overall it just kind of fails to be even a movie, to be fairly honest. It just feels like a bunch of individuals just having fun on a set and it just kind of throws everything at the wall and some things stick some things don't and it just wasn't really that much fun so so overall that's my take on the bubble like i said it could have been much much better but it definitely could have been much much worse so it's kind of in the middle but anyways that'll do it thank you so much for watching uh comments below did you watch this movie what do you think overall let me know in the comments but if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find us coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and uh, as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out